I get it. You're worried that every day you're on the sidelines makes it harder for you to make your numbers for the year. Prior to reading the breakdown for the character of Taylor on Billions, I had identified as gender fluid, gender queer. I had begun removing um, feminine she, her pronouns from my sort of like online bio material um, and just replaced it with my name, which had felt really good. And I had struggled with my gender identity for many years, even before I had sort of language or comprehension of the fact that that's what I was struggling with. And so when the character breakdown came for Taylor and it said female, non-binary gender, I thought, well, how are those things? They were, they were positioned as if they were different and separate. And it was the first time that I had count, encountered um, female, a word for sex, assigned sex, external sex characteristics, and non-binary gender as a, as a separate thing. And so I did, I you know looked up the words because I thought, well, I, I think I know what they mean, but maybe let me just double check. <laughs> and it was a real light bulb moment for me to say, oh, everyone has an assigned sex, everyone has a gender identity. Sometimes those things align, sometimes they don't. And when they, you know, the alignment is even, you know, sort of a social contract that we've been handed down, um, that we are, we've been asked to live within and adapt to, and not all of us fit within that construct. And so it was really freeing for me to understand that um, I could have a gender identity that was separate from what I'd been told it was supposed to be based on my sex. And um, the they, them pronouns just felt really right to me. And so that's how that, that's how that came about. And you know, it's incredible. The, the visibility and representation that Taylor has given to so many people, which I know of because people reach out to me on social media or they stop me on the street. 